How's it going guys? As you can see I'm not in Moscow. I went out for a few drinks in Moscow last night and somehow ended up at the airport at 5 o'clock this morning. Got on a plane at 6 and it sat in the tarmac until 9 o'clock. So I've not been to bed. I've been on a plane for way longer than I need to be. But I'm in St. Petersburg. Do you want to come and have a look around? Let's go. Right guys, before we go and see anything, we're going to go grab some breakfast, some coffee, try and wake up, and then show you some of the sights of St. Petersburg. There you go. Здравствуйте. You need to say, can you uh, say that on camera? Uh, a camera. She said what's I was very handsome, uh, but I, I what's, wasn't recording. Uh, what's your name? Yazov. Um, uh, Yazov. English. English. Jim. Ah, uh, Jim. Jim Morrison. Kak, He's very kak, handsome guy. Kak Jim Morrison, Jim Carrey. Jim. Jim Bean. Jim Bean? Ah, oh, the whiskey. Beauty whiskey. I yeah. like whiskey. Kak I like Jim Bean. Kak was so good. My name is Catherine the Great. I am Queen of Russia. Nice to meet you, the Queen of Russia. Da, da, da. Yes, 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 Jim. Yes. Uh, Jim, maybe um, photo together. But can you make a I photo? I need to go in here today. Da, da. Five pounds? Five pounds? Five pounds for a photograph? No, I'm... No, you don't pay the Is photo. That... You pay for my cost. Is that why you call me handsome? To get no, five, to get five pounds no, from you're, me? No, you're handsome. It's uh, it's uh, sincere. It's, in, it's from the bottom of my heart. But it's uh, my job. It's I mean the fault. It's nice to meet you, but I I don't have any pounds. Pounds don't work you in Russia. Pay in rubles. Five <laughs> I don't have any rubles either. Have a nice day. Nice to meet you. Nice bye bye. All right, guys. This beautiful building over here is the Zinger Building, which used to be. A very famous bookshop as far as I know but now is the VK offices if you don't know what VK is it's like it's almost like the Russian version of Facebook and that's where they have their offices here and it's very it's a very beautiful building <laughs> Alright guys, now we're outside Spasna Kravi. It's one of the most beautiful churches in the whole of St. Petersburg. All right, we're in the park, guys. Marsova Poli, but I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> oh, Lera. Marsova Poli. This is my friend Lera. She's uh, <clears throat> she's going to say it right for us. Say it again. Marsova Poli. There we go. I keep saying it wrong, right? I'm going to show you around. It's one of the main sightseeing places in St. Petersburg, and the snow's starting to come down pretty heavy now. Now in the distance I can see some people gathered around the flame. Now I've seen, there's a very famous one in Minsk, in Belarus. Um, there's also one outside the Kremlin. And I think this flame keeps going 24 seven. And it is like a victory flame. It is a memento to the people that have passed away in previous conflicts.
And I don't think that flame ever goes out, it's constant. Don't know the name of all heroes. of the heroes. Who fight for freedom. Who fought for freedom. Okay. I'm not gonna read it all, but <laughs> it's basically a monument to fallen heroes. Alright guys, we're coming up to the River Neva that runs through St. Petersburg. It really is quite special here. Although I don't know how much the camera's going to pick up because it's so grey and cloudy. But this river's huge, we've got the boats going across. We've got Strelka off in the distance. We're going to try and go over there, get a little bit closer and show you. How's the weather, Lena? <laughs> Watching Floha, Monoga Snake. Where are we now, Lena? Is <laughs> <laughs> that again? Take two. <laughs> See it again? Where are we? Right, okay. I can't say it properly. Alright guys, the weather's starting to defeat us at this moment in time. I think we need to find a hotel, get dried off, and then come back at it. Very wet, very cold. Look, I never really dressed for the occasion. A pair of vans and a pair of jeans on. It's like minus one and snowing. Alright guys, I'll give you a little room tour of the hotel. The Greenfield Hotel room. One, two, eight. And I paid 2,100 rubles for that. So, let's see what 17 pounds gets you in. St. Petersburg. Now we've already been in here, so it's a bit of a mess. Come in, got the mirror, somewhere to hang your stuff, a little bit more hanging action. Through here, TV on the wall, bed, a little desk, and a little view of the street. It's not too bad. And the bathroom is quite new as well. It's weirdly got this window here. So, not sure how much that's needed. Bathroom, check it out. 17 pounds for a night. And it's a Sunday night, so it's a weekend as well, so. There you go. Check out the old Russian staircase radiators. And as an added bonus, you get to go in the smallest elevator or lift I've ever seen. Wait till you see it, it's like a coffin. Not sure if the camera's doing it justice, but. I think it's like a one man, a one man elevator. Alright guys, we're now at Admiral Tedsva and have a look at this. Slush. Don't wear vans when you come to St. Petersburg in the winter. Let's have a little look around. Now one of the things that strikes me is 
how much more European the architecture and just the vibe of St. Petersburg is rather than Moscow. But I guess that comes from being so close to Europe and maybe also being a, a port city on the water. All right, guys, we're outside Isavgivsky Zabor. Did I say it right? <laughs> Did I say it correct? No. I can't Isakivsky say it. Say it again. Say it again. He tried to pronounce Isakivsky Zabor. Isakivsky Zabor, which is a church. Unfortunately, we can't go in because it's night time, but we'll try and get a few shots from the outside. Varsovskaya Blochid, Varsovskaya Square. Outside, Hermitage Museum, which is actually the biggest museum in the whole of Russia. Now, it's obviously the middle of the night here, so hopefully you can see it, but I'm going to show you a few more shots. By the way, the flight to come down here was only 5,000 rubles, which is about 40 pounds. It only took about an hour and 10 minutes after the delays. So, if you're in Moscow, very easy to come down to St. Petersburg, but probably come before the winter starts. Morning guys, it's the next day. It's time to go home. I'm gonna get breakfast and jump on a flight back to Moscow. Check out the weather. St. Petersburg is truly like Scotland. Four seasons in one day. Today would have been a great day to come here and make a video. But I came yesterday. Guys, we've just got time to visit Zagibsky Zabor. We've got made it inside, it's across the road from where we were having breakfast. So we're going up, get my car doing, should be a good view from the top. All right, guys, I think we'll leave it there from the top of the beautiful Zakirsky Zambor. We didn't think we were going to make it. The weather yesterday was terrible, but came here on about an hour's notice of deciding to take a flight up here. So, hope you enjoyed the video and promise to come back when the weather's better.